Today I want to talk to you guys about multi-day events and how you're going to price for them and also the different uh, kind of situations that you're going to get into to where you're going to have your units out for multiple days and you want to make it valuable for the customer at the same time you want to make it profitable for yourself. So, you know, we can need to get into exactly what a multi-day event is. A multi-day event, you know, can stretch a, a whole gambit of different things that are related to, you know, organizations or churches or, or schools or whatever. And and their, their event is traveling over several days for a different reason because they have a large group and they're trying to work a lot of people through or it's a festival or celebration or some kind of thing like that where where you're literally having you know multiple people coming in on different days and you want to kind of catch a lot of people at the same time vacation bible school is probably the first one that jumps into my mind tons of churches do this and it will go on for weeks and you'll literally have, you know, uh, one church doing it here, and then one week later, another church is doing it here, and sometimes they cross over in the whole nine yards. Um, uh, vacation Bible School is is a huge, huge thing, uh, especially here in the South, and it is a big, big uh, way to make money and, and to get in there as long as you're pricing the units right. Now, they usually have a theme that goes along with theirs, so it can be kind of tricky to make sure that you're – you know, working within the theme, but uh, it's almost a no-brainer to have uh, inflatables there because it is an event kind of thing that has a culmination, so it kind of works out. I've had vacation Bible schools that have, you know, rented something on the last three days. I've had them listed, rent it for, you know, a full seven days, and I've had them rent it for the last day. So really, it's up to the church, but you can reach out to them and make it, you know, one of your own. Another one would be family reunions. Usually these will last a weekend or up to a week, depending on the situation and the family. And again, you can you can kind of morph and, and mold your uh, units into their schedule so that they, they've got kind of a, a situation going on to where they're having fun and having the value that you want. And at the same time, not getting in a situation where you're you're not making any money. I've had a family reunion where they have literally had a different water slide every single day of the week, and I would drop one off and pick the other one up and, and just do that every single day. And again, I discounted it down, but I still made good money because I was going in there and, and dropping units off every single day. Um Schools will have, you know, end of, end of the year kind of things. They'll have field day week and things like that where they're doing several different kind of situations where they're having. And they can incorporate you and some of the inflatables that you got. Sometimes this could be water slides. Sometimes it can be, you know, obstacle courses and things like that. So those kind of things, again, very, very lucrative if you get in there and can get several days on it and, you know, make it worth your while. Community fairs. Uh, and again, this one is kind of a, a one of those things that you got to know the right people and you got to kind of get in there with it. But you can do, you know, a fair that goes several weeks. Uh, and again, festivals, city festivals and things like that fall into this category to where they're doing multiple days and you can do this. Sometimes these are pay for play. So you got to be careful that you're not getting in a situation where you may get caught up on, you know, rain or, or weather related situations. But you can make a, a good amount of money by by doing those kind of things. Uh, corporations will sometimes do retreats and, you know, they will have you know, team building exercises and your kind of stuff can kind of fit into those. And again, they may be a little more demanding of you because they're trying to, to fit yours into, you know, what their idea is. So they may have a an obstacle course, but they only need it for a couple hours and then they want to move on to something like a tug of war or something like that. So they want you to kind of handle the, the transition between that. So it may be a lot of work, but it can be a lot of money. Um, Summer camps, summer camps are huge and they are really, you know, span the whole genre of, of everything that you can imagine anywhere from, you know, police related or fire related, or we've got a karate camp that, that does some stuff with us. We have a lot of the churches, a lot of the, the Boy Scouts. There are tons of folks that do the summer camps 
all you have to do is get in there. And again, this could be a, a, a few days or up to, a, you know, a week at a time, depending on, you know, how you get in there and how you, how do you work it right. Um, and again, you know, there's, there's other things, neighborhood block parties, uh, church, you know, events, holidays usually can, can span a lot. We're, we're, we're gearing up for a, a Halloween situation where we're teaming up with a haunted house and we're going to do, you know, the entire month of October on, on weekends with an inflatable. So those kind of things can make obviously tons of money but what you can't do is sit there and and throw out a a per day price for something like that or even for a week if you've got a unit that is is going for let's just say five hundred dollars and they want to rent it for a week that's thirty five hundred dollars most people you've just priced them out of range because if their organization is a hundred people strong they're paying $35 per person for just your unit. So you, you really need to think about what you're doing and how you're marketing, you know, the multi-day events. This is how I do it. If you do a single day, it's a, it's a rental price. If you do two days, I do a rental price plus a $50 overnight fee, which will give you the two days. If you do three days, I will do a single night and two overnight fees. Four days will be two rental days at full price. Five days would be two rental days and a overnight fee and and so on and so on. So you could see how the, the schedule works there. I will only go overnight fees up to two days and then I will go back to a, a full day price. Uh, but if you're talking about a week worth of rental, you are talking about, you know, just a couple days rental um, let's go back to that $500, uh, fee. So if I did two $500 fees and then two overnight fees, that would be $1,100 as opposed to the 3,500 that, that, you know, most people were asking, um, for, you know, you know, the actual daylight. So the customer will, will be more prone to go for something like that. Now, why do you discount it down so much? Why is it such a big deal? Because you're, you're literally using it every day. And I can agree with that. But there's a lot of things that are taken out of that price. Delivery is one of them. You're only delivering that once and picking it up once. So why are you charging them five days worth of deliveries? Because there is a delivery fee built into your price. Um, and, and, and also, you know, the wear and tear and things like that that go into that literally is going to be uh, more secluded or more focused on the actual use of the unit, not the setup and tear down and rolling and unrolling and on the truck and off the truck that usually comes with it. So there's there's a lot less because it's being used as it should be instead of, you know, going on and off of a truck or on dollies or in a trailer and the whole nine yards, the wear and tear is different when you're talking about something like that. So those kind of things make up a big difference. Now, I do have some rules that I like to go by when I'm, I'm thinking about uh, multi-day events. First and foremost, you need to make sure that your, your insurance covers that kind of stuff, because if something were to happen you know, to the unit or to someone that's using the unit and you're using outside the, the bounds of your insurance, that obviously is no good. So make sure that you check with your insurance provider and, and what is covered as far as overnight fees or, you know, having multiple days and, you know, how that falls in, into play. Another thing that you need to keep in mind is that um, when you're doing this, it, it can be... Uh, an exposure to the unit that it normally wouldn't have to extended time in the sun and things like that. So you may want to look at treating the unit or, you know, wiping it down with some armor all something that has a UV protection, something that's going to allow it to, to do things right. Also, you may want to schedule checkups so that you're coming, you know, every other day or something like that, just to make sure that it's still staked down. It's still properly, you know, placed and things like that and again those kind of things will add into you you know making trips and whole nine yards but at the same time what it's doing is is ensuring that you're not having a unit 
that uh, has has come off of uh, its stakes or has been you know jostled loose or something like that or or maybe even the water has has washed away part of it and and created a situation where someone can trip or something can fall you know there's tons of other things that can be involved so you do need to make sure you do those kind of things and uh, you know keep that in mind finally I, what I want to do is I want you to explain to the customer how much of a discount that they're getting and this will go a long way uh, my reservation system allows me to show it as a discount so that I am uh, showing the customer you know how much money they're actually saving as opposed to uh, just saying uh, you know you're only getting the, you're getting this thing for eleven hundred dollars I can show it as the thirty five hundred with a reduction of you know twenty four hundred dollars and the eyes will get really big and they'll be very very impressed that they've saved this much money at the same time also and again i'm not an expert uh, so you need to to talk to an expert but there may be some ta tax implications if you do this as well where you're discounting units down and it's showing that you had you know have made a loss or or you could have you know made more money uh, check with your tax professional about those kind of things uh, so that you you know you know how things are going with that um, some things that you need to be cautious about is again is if you do these kind of things you are you are locking those pieces in so if you if you put it in for a fifty dollar overnight fee you are not getting a full rental price and if somebody wants it it may be difficult for you to to turn it or to replace that unit with something else just keep that in mind i always tell my customers that are going to do multiple day events that we're going to give them the the most comparable piece at the cheapest price but i can't guarantee a specific unit or a specific theme because i have to make sure that i take care of the full day customers first and usually they understand as long as they're getting something that's very very comparable and i'm not talking about something that's older or cheaper or falling apart or something like that i'm talking about size and 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 you know uh, layout comparable pieces so that they understand it's it's you know it's going to be fun for them but in the same respect i'm protecting my business and i'm keeping the money coming in and i'm not losing things listen folks you're not making any money for the stuff that sits in your warehouse now that being said you need to make sure that you're not losing money because you're giving things out and, and, and creating a situation where you know uh, you, you would have made more money if it would have gone out or something like that but in the same respect it's sitting in your your shop or your warehouse or you know you know wherever you store them it's not making any money so it's better that you get it out there for that reduced price and know that you are literally you know going to make the money off of this and those kind of paydays are going to be good paydays for you they're not going to be something that is kind of you know something can be scoffed at or something that's small honest to tell you the truth i i i have had experiences where customers have called me and they were an absolute sticker shock when they approached other companies and they were given a certain price for a multi-day event multi-unit event and then when i told them my price they were absolutely just beside themselves because they had thought that 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 their plans were ruined by this you know price that was way out of their their league uh, so don't do that to your customers if you if you don't do it don't do it tell them you don't do multi multi-day events that that it, it you know you can't you can't handle it that you know your inventory requires that you do single day events and that, that they probably need to look at someone else telling them that they need seven thousand dollars for a three-day event that's just that's just not going to do you any good and it's not going to do the customer any good and hey you may actually get a customer that falls for that and and you know may agree for that but they're literally going to get that kind of money out of you so you need to understand when you make that kind of rental you're going to have a customer that's going to be demanding perfection and it may be absolutely impossible for you to reach the level that that you know that you have set forth as far as the price and again i'm talking i'm on the higher end of several thousand dollars there are customers that will pay it and that won't mind i'm just telling you that it's going to be very very difficult and it's going to it's going to leave a bad taste in their mouth
Uh, if you're not absolutely perfect, if everyone isn't absolutely thrilled and happy for every minute that is there, they're going to find fault in you. They're going to find fault in the company and possibly in the inflatables. If they go to someone else and have something that is pretty much the same thing and the price is better, you have just doomed your company never to be called again by the that customer. And they will tell everyone else, don't talk to those guys. They are way overpriced. So make sure that you're very, very careful. And again, folks, I want you to make money. I really, really do. I want you, everyone out there to make money, but you cannot price yourself out of a rental. And even if you do get a rental at that price, you are creating a situation where they're going to find the fault in you and you're going to be you know, knocked out from then on. So keep those things in mind. Listen, we're all, we're in this all, together. Everybody is doing the same thing. I really, really appreciate you guys. If you would give me a like, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, tell all your friends about it. Keep listening. And Hey, let me know in the comments below, how do you handle multi-day events? What are the things that you do? And what are some suggestions you can give to other companies on there, how to get customers and, and you know, how to price the units. I appreciate you guys. And we will talk to you next time.